boys and girls. I wanted to show you some of the other Shalom Readers books that I have here at my house. In case your mom and dad need some other books, we can sure help them out. I can either read them to you or we can some somehow I'll get them to your moms and dads. So this is the book we read last time. The Peace Bed by Todd Parr. Watch out, don't bump it. And I also have The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Rainbow Fish and the Big Blue Whale. And that one is by Mark Pfister. You Are Special. By Max Lucado. The cover is pretty simple on this one, but it has really neat pictures on the inside. I'm pretty sure this is Shalom Readers. I will double check. First Strawberries. The First Strawberries. Oh. And that's by Joseph Bert. Burchak. The story of, do you remember that name? Ferdinand. Ferdinand, yep. By Monroe Leaf. And then this is the book that Alyssa got last year for Shalom Readers, which is called The Curious Garden. By Peter Brown. And this is a good book, isn't it? Yeah, really, really good. This one was new to Shalom Readers last year. And then the book that we're going to read now tonight is the Cram Box That Talk. And that's by Shane DeRolf. And this is the book that Brimley got last year for Shalom Readers. Okay, so here we go. The Crayon Box That Talk. While walking in a toy store the day before today, I overheard a crayon box with many things to say. I don't like red, said yellow, and green said, nor do I. And no one here likes orange, but no one knows just why. We are a box of crayons that doesn't get along, said blue to all the others. Something here is wrong. Well, I bought that box of crayons and took it home with me. And laid out all the colors so the crayons could all see. They watched me as I colored with red and blue and green and black and white and orange and even color and every color in between. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they watched as green became the grass and blue became the sky. The yellow sun was shining bright on white clouds drifting by. Hey, <laughs> goodness. Colors changing as they touched, becoming something new. They watched me as I colored. They watched me till I was through. And when I finally finished, I began to walk away. And as I did, the crayon box had something more to say. I do like red, said yellow, and green said, so do I. And blue, you were terrific, so high up in the sky. We are a box of crayons, each one of us unique. But when we get together, the picture is complete. Okay, so... When part of doing Shalom Readers, the first part is filling out the logs. And then the second part is doing some projects to go with. And you can do two projects on any of the books that you read. And so if you would like to, if you decide you want to do one on, hi, Alyssa, hi. On, Shalom, on the crayon box of talk, you sure could. You don't have to. You can do one on a different book. 
But one suggestion was to make something like this, and Alyssa and Brindley did. And then another one would be a crayon showing yourself and your favorite mm -hmm. color. I like your favorite color. And then this is one that Alyssa did. It says, I am special because I am different than everyone else. I feel special because I love animals, magic, Disney, and I'm kind. And then she did that all on her own. And then I do have some plain ones that if your moms and dads would like, I could send. So there's an example of this, moms and dads. What's it say? It says, if we were all the same color, and we need we need many different colors we got to have these boxes. And then there's even this one. I and am unique one. because. And so you could do any of those if you wanted to on any number of other projects. And then the thing I want you to remember is we are a box of crayons, each one of us unique. But when we come together, the picture is complete from the crayon box at Topton. So unique means a way that we're special or different from everybody else. So Alyssa mentioned that she likes magic and Disney and she's kind. Those are things that make her unique. And other things that make people unique are um, what family they're part of and lots of other different things, their personality, their smiles. And so you could think of those kinds of things when you make your projects. And then as we keep going, if you want some more stories, have your moms and dads let us know and I will certainly get those stories over to you. I hope you're all staying safe at home, and we miss you. I miss being your Sunday school teacher if you were in my class, and if you weren't in my class, I still miss seeing you in the halls at church. We miss seeing them, don't we, Alyssa? Yeah, we do. <laughs> all right, thank you, everybody. Bye.